Hello everybody and welcome to the Sporty Stream. Nice to see you all here today. We've got some Rocket League Splash Series action coming to you live from the RFZ, the Rocket League Splash Series. Joining me here is GD Chad. That's a name that hasn't been on the stream in a while. You've been here before, but I know you went off on a bit of a break. You're back now, and guess what? You're still in the Rocket League Splash Series, and these teams have only gotten better since you've been away. Oh no, I think he muted himself. <laughs> ah, I did. <laughs> no, um, no, I'm really happy to be back, and I have been able to tune into some of your your streams and all that. And it's crazy to see how much like not only the teams but like the organizations have grown, and it's also it's just so it's so exciting to be back. And I think we could talk about two orgs that have grown, and yes, this is a this is a very shameless transition uh, into our upcoming matchup here: Infinity Sapphire, they on a collision, Infinity Reborn, the organization taking on Hex Thirty Five Esports and. Again, as I mentioned, two orgs that have definitely grown since you've last been on this stream. I don't even know if 100x was even an org when we were last year. They definitely weren't a big one. They've since mm -hmm. absolutely expanded. And for Affinity Reborn, still a relatively small org. They don't grow as big. They don't have nearly as many teams. They're still quite a big org. This is their third roster. This is the newest roster here in Affinity Sapphire. After no record. But later on tonight, we'll also have Team Cypher Violet taking on 909 in the Tsunami Cup. There for our final match of tonight's. But for now, again, Affinity Sapphire, 100x Collision. Pretty Sapphire, if you know, 100x Collision are 2 and 1, looking to wreck the party and make it 3 wins in 3 weeks. And again, as we, for both these teams, they've had pretty successful seasons, but only one team could win tonight. And we're seeing, you know, this Affinity Sapphire team continue to be successful, but Collision's going to be a tough opponent for them. Yeah, and I, like, a, like you were saying, like 100x was not a big organization when I last saw them, but I do know that anybody who's ever played for them. Definitely hardworking, and they absolutely destroy everything they do. I'm excited for this matchup. And you can even say that about 100x Collision, uh, Collision here, a team that has a lot of these same characteristics of 100x35. There's a very specific characteristic for 100x35, and it is just play offense, don't play defense. Uh, and that, <laughs> that, that characteristic doesn't always work. It's fun to watch. It is not always successful, but Collision do play that way, although we are seeing more and more... Today, we're at the 135. It's not that same play style. It's a lot more measured. You're seeing these teams with a lot more depth into them. Uh, and mm -hmm. they're going to need that depth because Affinity Sapphire is a team that is very well rounded. They're, again, they're the newest roster in Affinity Reborn. Leave their roster number three for them. Again, up below Affinity Academy and Affinity Reborn at the top. So they, right now, they're one of the more successful ones. Again, a 3 0 record. The only team they're getting usurped by is Affinity Reborn, who are absolutely decimating the Tsunami Cup. So Affinity as an org have done really well here as. Again, what a match they have had so far. Again, it's been a, a big match. Uh, that Again, it's, it's a big match for them, though, because for Vinny Saffir, they haven't had to worry too much in their matches. They've beaten Central Warriors, Akadama, and Golden Aries, but Sunrise. They really haven't had a super crazy matchup yet this season. Akadama probably being their toughest one, but even that team, I don't think they're doing amazing this season. Yeah, they're 2-2, two and two, so mm -hmm. Fafir, Affinity Saffir, this is actually a much more important matchup for them when it comes to just showing us how good they can be. Exactly, and so you were saying that, and you had mentioned the 100x being as like an overall, they're more an aggressive team. So would you say, for to me, again, I have not seen Affinity, uh, any other teams. Uh, you said this is their third roster. I haven't seen, been able to see any other teams play. Would you say that in general they're more uh, well-rounded or more defensive team? They're, they're definitely a mid-field based team. They're definitely mid nice. Their whole thing is like a lot of top teams. They do well at keeping the ball. Uh, mm -hmm. 100x Collision, again, I think they're going to be a good battle for that. I don't think they're going to win when it comes to overall holding the ball, although I could be mistaken. Maybe they'll prove to me that I'm wrong. Uh, but Collision as a team, uh, Affinity, uh, you know, and Affinity Sapphire, they're both going to have that chemistry. They like to go in their passes. They definitely are players that rely mm -hmm. on each other a lot more. It's a very, honestly, honestly, it's ironically, very Affinity Reborn playstyle to rely on your teammates heavily. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've not seen Affinity Reborn, just look at the Tsunami Cup and just look at their record. Uh, they are 4-0 right now and have only dropped a single game. So... Uh, if that, that, if that doesn't tell you how good they're playing, they're in the Tsunami Cup, by the way, which is very good, competitive. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be a tough one here. But Affinity Zapfar, you know, right now, their season's been a little bit tougher. Again, they went to Game 5 against Central Warriors, who are a team that's not doing that as well this season. But ever since then, they have improved. But they, the problem with Affinity Zapfar is, as a team, they, they have a really good baseline. They can't excel upward. That's the reason why some of their matches go to Game 5. Because they don't have that extra bit where they can, like, be and uh, excel better. They play to their opponents mm -hmm. a lot. Which means, when they play mm -hmm. against weaker teams, they struggle. When they play against better teams, they do well. Hunks Collision, though, are going to be a good test for them. As I said, definitely one of the stronger teams in this tournament. Yeah, and you were saying that 
an aggressive like the aggressive player style 100x is definitely a fun play style to watch but i myself enjoy watching the passing plays and the chemistry between the teammates so if you're saying that's how affinity sapphire plays i'm very excited to see it yeah, because it's, it's, there's it's, nothing better to me than watching a really clean pass work out in in that team's favor well i mean you'll get to see a lot of that there's so much that the, that, that this team can do so well here and as you said, both these teams so successful for Lyric's Collision. They were only lost being in week one against Def Cloud Esports Quirksters, who are 3 0 right now. So, tough loss for them. That's their only loss. Ever since then, they beat the brother. They beat Mango's Minions. They are now, at least in the last two weeks, two straight wins. So, this Collision side kind of regaining after that week one hiccup to be one of those teams that could definitely be, you know, competing at the top of this group is, again, a big match. This is only our first of two matches, but as you mentioned here, uh, Chess, it's it's a big one here with both these teams being as good as they are and Again, we'll get these uh, guys in as soon as we can here uh, as uh, again a best of five series uh, Both matches tonight are best of five and this one I think is gonna be the one that more people you know, maybe we're expecting it's also been on the schedule for a lot longer But it's gonna match that a lot of people we're looking at it and saying watch out for this match This is gonna be a good one this weekend well, we get to see mm. it here on the stream as affinity sapphire on the blue under collision on the orange and a Best of five series, uh, one team 3-0, the other one looking to make it three wins in three weeks here tonight. We start in game one, and we start with this best of five series tonight. Our first of two matches, but this one, an undefeated side versus a team that looks to make it three and three. Here we go, a best of five series, and this, this is going to be important, as I mentioned already. That teamwork, Chess, is going to be a huge factor. Yes, and you were saying some, mentioning something about... They don't have that extra bit and that extra little push, so that they may need to end up having that one extra person push the offense a little bit past that midfield game that you said that they're so good at playing. Yeah, Finney Sapphire again as a team, they're going to play close to anybody they play against. It just is they struggle against weaker teams because they play to that level. Against Hunter's Collision, I expect them to keep it close, but Collision are a team that do have that extra bit. They have that extra little bit of... You know, of ex uh, where they can excel. Every 145 team seems to have that, where they can just go all out on the offense. Avenida Sapphire don't have that quality. And that means for them, they've got to find it somehow because 100 Collision aren't going to give them space as Patty looking for the double tack to start things off. Stopped by Averted, but already some early offense from Collision. And this is what this team's all about mechanics, offense, and chemistry. 100 Collision are going to be a great match to Affinity Sapphire. And uh, what I'm wondering and what I'm excited to see about this is that team chemistry that is comes in from the passing and in that midfield, is it just as good on their defense? And so far, what I'm seeing right now, it definitely is. Like, they are dealing well with, well with any of the attacks that have come to them so far, so. Yeah, as you mentioned so far, the Affinity Sapphire defense holding on, but uh, with how much defense they've had to play, things are going to get pretty tough for them. A hundred Collision are going to find ways to score. They just are. That's the kind of play style they have. They are offense. They are aggressive enough, and they're good at that aggression, that they're going to score. It's very rare to keep this team scoreless in any game, and but Affinity Sapphire, they really need to break out here as Collision. Looking in the midfield for a pass to Eclipse. Patty now off the corner, leaving it in front here for Omster. Waiting on it is Omster. Onyx Collision, will let me stop there as Patty back to Ohm. Onyx Collision pushing upfield again. Ohmster finds Eclipse in the midfield. Those two have been teammates for quite a long amount of time together, so not too surprising to see that connection being made. And you're going to see a lot of it here between Eclipse and Ohmster where their passes are going to click well, but that one didn't. Still, they have offense as Patty again off the sidewall looking to get past the bird, and he does. Ohmster is jumping, but Office Walrus will keep it out, and Afini Sapphire so far have held on to the defensive line. And they just need to, and they are finally passed onto the other side of the field of 100X, but it goes right back onto their other side of the field. It might go out to mid, and it's a pass down, but it doesn't quite actually make it there. We're seeing that Affinity needs to... Oh, and he's up! It might be a shot, but Patty with a save at the last second on the goal line. That's what we need to see more of. Affinity getting it past the midline to try to put pressure on 100X's defense to see what they can handle versus just Affinity on the defense the entire time. 
Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Affinity Sapphire, if they can bring a little more offense, a little more aggression, they're going to break through. It's, again, I, we've mentioned so much about how good 100x Collision's the offense is. Affinity Sapphire's got a pretty solid offense themselves, and it's mostly based on passing plays, on chemistry. It's such a... You, it's so weird to see teams that kind of work in the exact same way. The only major difference is that a Collision are a little more aggressive than Affinity Sapphire, mm -hmm. but it's not much of a difference here. And Affinity Sapphire are starting to find ways to break out more and more often during the end of this game. One chance could be what it is to blow the lid, and that might be it in front. But Office Wallace will keep it wide. Affinity Sapphire getting some early looks on offense. They haven't been all that amazing, but it's better than nothing. And nothing was what they had when they started off this game. This uh, is hopeful for Affinity Sapphire. And as this game is continuing on, we are now one minute in. Nobody has scored. Both teams' defense is doing an amazing job at keeping the ball away from the net. But every time we see Affinity go onto the other side of the field, their offensive plays and pushes are getting a little bit better, and it's still at the net, and Eclipse is there to be able to save. It might be an open net. Oh, and it hits the post. Oh, no. It was so close. Affinity almost found that hole that they needed they almost did. Hudog, just a little wide. Hundred's collision will survive for now. But as I mentioned, they're a more aggressive team. Their defense is also generally a little bit weaker, from my experience, than Affinity Sapphire. So it really does even out in that sense. Although, here's a collision who's going to have more offensive strides. But can they succeed on it? That's a question that is still yet to be answered here as this game scores here. It really does feel like one of those games where... Both teams are trying to learning about each other, learning about this playstyle, and learning how to play. And right now, no one's been able to figure it out. It's collision! Flip reset there, but stopped by Office Walvis as Patty was looking for the jump. Now he won't get the bump. Here comes Hudog, stopped in front of that by collision. And Affinity Sapphire, actually to keep this up for now, but it will hit the ground. And game one will go to overtime. This best of five series still has one more message, one goal left in it. It's really been a great game, uh, game for both these terms to learn about each other. Now is their time to prove what they've learned and how they're going to utilize it. It really is amazing cause watching the what you were saying about these two teams before the game even started. It's actually coming to fruition and it's almost a shot, but Olmster's there. Averted is already up and Patty's going to take it off the ceiling and bring it back to the midfield, leaving Q Dog alone. He's just going to get a good pop and just right back out to the mid. Both teams seeming like they need to fight here in the mid to get it past. And it might be on the backboard, but Vert is there to defend it. Oh, Patty cuts. It's it's free. Oh, Patty getting the goal. Getting the only goal of the game 40 seconds into overtime. Yeah, so one goal they need, and it's Patty who will take it on her collision. Start the series off in their favor. The team that has already suffered a loss, and as I've mentioned, they're the more aggressive side in this matchup. They're playing a little more offensive. They're playing a little bit further up the field, and Affinity Sapphire is going to be playing more defensively as a result, and that's no surprise, I think. But I will say, though, Chaz, even with that game one going to collision, it felt more like a game where these teams needed to learn about each other other than them actually, you know, showing us their usual play styles, their actual kind of offensive plays. We're still waiting on that these teams to really kind of come into themselves I think game one was really just a, a tester for both sides. Exactly. And you know what's interesting for me to look at? I always like looking at this, looking at the stats between these two teams. If like 100x being the more aggressive team, but looking at Affinity Sapphire actually has more shots on net. And it's a weird, weird situation, but it, I, I think a lot of it goes to the fact that Affinity Sapphire are more willing to throw that ball at the nets and. It is a more of a quantity kind of thing. They want exactly. to have a good quantity of shots. You can't win with quantity, though, against Hunter's Collision. It's got to be the strength of your shots, the power of them, okay. and really the placement as well. And while we saw them get offense, they just had a ton of shots. A lot of it just felt weak. Didn't really feel like it mm -hmm. was going to challenge that too heavily, although they had some good chances in that game that definitely could have won mm -hmm. it for them. Uh, you want to see them in this game kind of break out a little bit more, find a little bit more power, a little bit more pace on their plays, and a little bit more quality at the end of, the, at the end of their offense. And... Well, we might be seeing them here in game number two start to find their own strength, but uh, it is a hundred collision. We do take game number one, and it's going to be a finish sapphire. You have to play close to them, but as I've already said before, we already know the answer to that question. It's going to be a finish sapphire. We'll play close. It's going to be up to a collision again to show that this is repeatable. So what I am thinking is affinity sapphire may actually have that play style that could be 100x. However, like you were saying, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. And if they try to focus more so on the accuracy of their shots, 
I feel like they would be able to find the hole more often. And Patty puts it in off the back with the pass from Olmster. Oh man, 40, 38 seconds into the game and one goal has started already. 100x, his aggressiveness is now rearing its ugly head towards Affinity Sapphire already. Yeah, we, we won't pay attention at all to you struggling to do uh, math uh, after that goal. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, it, hey, it's okay, man. I didn't go to school for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Whatever it is, though, I think the map's pretty easy for us to look at here. 100 collision are winning. Uh, that's all that we need to really talk about at this point. Now, that map's pretty simple here. On Infinity Sapphire are looking to try to answer back, but as we said already, they haven't actually scored yet uh, this game, which is interesting. They haven't scored yet this series, but, I mean, as I said already, and I think I really should say it now strictly, they're going to score at some point. This Infinity Sapphire team is getting enough chances that they will score, but will it come too late? 100 Collision looking to make it too, but it will stay away from the Nets. And as they continue their solo plays up the field, their pass is in front. It is Sapphire copying them out, but that one in front for Omster. And a 100x Collision will double their lead to two. A second score for the 135 side as a little misdirection will catch everybody from Affinity Sapphire jumping. Man, what a an unfortunate event for Affinity Sapphire. And here's what I am noticing. I believe that Affinity Sapphire may still be trying to learn the other team, which you mentioned yourself last game was being used for. And 100x having that more aggressive playstyle. Oh man, as I'm talking about this, Eclipse puts one in far side. Nobody's able to reach it, making the lead up by three. Yeah, 100 See, I struggle collision. with the math too, there too. Yeah, you didn't, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not gonna say you struggle with that one. But... There's a there's a there's a reason I'm in the military, not not in not in university. Oh dang! All right, man. <laughs> Jesus, I was gonna I was gonna give you some credit here uh, on this matchup as uh, Affinity Sapphire right now looking to answer back again. They have not scored yet this game, and as you said, Collision's offense. The fact of the matter is, it does feel like they're the confident team right now, mm -hmm. and for good reason. I mean, just look at the chances they're getting. Here comes goal number four. Oh my it's Homestar again. You heard me predict it, and for good reason. Collision are just playing that well. Look at the control they have on this play. Uh, Affinity Sapphire cannot stop them, and and you're getting again, as you said, we're getting the sense that they still are learning about Collision, and yeah. Collision haven't had to learn. They know exactly how to play to this play style. Exactly, and you were talking about the control, and to have that sort of control in a 3v3 match against players you know are also very good at what they do is absolutely insane. To get a flick like that in threes, in my opinion, is absolutely nuts. It is. It's the chemistry that we've mentioned already from both these sides. Collision have it. I finished sat by it right now. Collision's... Uh... Uh, ke chemistry and control is that much better, but Affinity Sapphire on the offense here cannot find another chance. Look at the space that Collision have, and just look at what they're going to do with it. So many dribbles, always looking for each other there. Patty, allowing Olmster to actually be a threat on this play. He was looking to maybe actually get a pass, although he turned off the play eventually. But it's showing you that this Collision side recognizes where each other are, recognizes what they're doing <laughs> as they continue to find each other on these passes. And for Affinity Sapphire, hope is waning quickly here in game number two. And you were mentioning earlier that Affinity Sapphire are the ones that like to play closely, but it's looking like 100X is actually playing closer than Affinity Sapphire is at this moment in time. See, look at them right there. Close. They are both close to each other and close to the play so they can support each other in, in a moment's notice. Yeah, as you said, these teams looking to be supportive, looking to help each other out. Right now, it's Collision who are finding success. And as I said, finding each other. If any Sapphire, their chemistry is being put to the test. They haven't had any team that's been able to beat them in that playstyle. But I think Collision is their first, and uh, it's going to be one of the reasons why. This is their toughest match so far this season. So far, if any Sapphire, no credit to the team, and no discredit to the teams they played against. I know some of the players actually on those teams are in the chat right now. They haven't had a very tough schedule so far. This is going to be a much stronger test <laughs> of how this team will play as a collision. Looking for a mid-air pass to Eclipse there. And almost got it as well. At this point, at a four-goal lead, they're just having fun with the Affinity Sapphire. And for Affinity Sapphire, that's got to be enraging. And, hey, I, they might be down by four, but I'm looking on the positive side of this. 100x has not scored in quite a while, so oh, don't curse that them. Are, oh, no. A... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Goals are coming in the next 15 seconds. Now, yeah, no by chance. affinity, it's, it's by affinity sapphire. No, I don't curse people. I I bless them. 
Uh, you sure about I, that? You might want to yep, change nope. that very soon. <laughs> nope, your nope, chess is, nope. uh, chess is, you're playing, with, you're playing with fire here, my guy. You're playing with fire here, but uh, fortunately, <laughs> oh dear, I, I, I don't know what to say about nope, this because the collision good. are still attacking here. And I mean, at this point, game two is always secured for them. They're just playing for fun. And for Finny Sapphire, I think they're thinking about what to do for game number three. And this, with what you've seen already, Chess, it does feel like Sapphire have kind of lost confidence by the end of this game, but what else do you see here? That is an issue for Vinny Sapphire that they need to fix soon. They definitely have not been... One, you were talking about their connections on their passing plays. Oh man, almost a crazy shot by Office Walrus. But they haven't been finding that connection on their passing plays. They haven't been necessarily passing the ball. When it looks like they go to do so, it looks like they have been hesitating. Possibly because of 100x's offensive playstyle. They are always in their face, so maybe they not are not seeing the opportunities or finding the time to do it. So I feel like their offensive play is at a detriment because of it. However, 100X is also doing an amazing job of exposing any holes that they can. Yeah, 100X Collision is doing a very beautiful job. As I said, being on the offense and really just bringing the fight to Finney Sapphire. And it's again, Finney Sapphire right now who are undefeated so far, but... This could be an interesting point in the series because we've seen reverse sweeps before. They have to do one here. This stream actually has seen 26 best of five reverse sweeps in its history. And it actually feels like they're getting more and more common by the day. But still, the questions persist here for uh, Affinity Sapphire because they haven't played that way. They haven't played well. Mm -hmm. This is a, uh, a game that's really going to test them because they haven't even scored yet. I, I don't think we even mentioned that. They haven't even scored yet in this series. And we're already two games in. They've got to score at the very least. And at the very best, they've got to be able to take some games here off this team. And they're confident doing it. And looking at these stats just really quickly. The shots are a lot different than that game. Affinity Sapphire only having three shots total versus Collisions nine. So that tells you something between the first game and the, and the second game. Affinity Sapphire just not be able to find any opportunity to try to put those even quantity of shots that they were trying to do in the first game. Yeah, it does. It just feels like that second game, Collision, as you, as I said, learned a lot more, got more used to Affinity Sapphire. And now that we've gone two games, Affinity Sapphire has to have been able to have downloaded at least most of the Collision offensive playstyle. And I feel like this game, at the very least, should be close because of it. It maybe took Affinity Sapphire a little longer to get used to what Collision's bringing. That might be just be a fact that the fact of the matter is they're undefeated, so it could just be a fact that they are just aren't used to a team playing this well, but Collision, it's them who are again at that a beautiful performance so far, although that's not going to help them as Office oh. Walrus will score on an open net. Collision with a major mistake and for Affinity Sapphire, their first goal of a series as a result. And there it is. Look at how two of their players and I'm just gonna say I noticed last game. There wasn't very often time that they had the two players on 100x's side of the field. You could see there they had two players there ready for off an offensive play, possibly that passing play, and it ended up just working out to where they were be able to there be there and capitalize on that open net. Yeah, it's uh, again some aggression from Fish Sapphire that has been lost in game two that they need to regain here for game number three. They're not going to beat Collision without aggression. It's very tough to beat this team by playing defense. It's very possible. So again, as I said, this team does not have a I don't think it has a stronger defense in this matchup, but the offense has done enough work for them, although Finny Sapphire look to make it two, but that play will be cleared away by Omster and it is on Earth's collision. They go on the offensive again. Eclipse. This one up to the back wall. Omster's already jumped for it, but You'll have no chance to get to that ball as Patty back towards the blue nets. Omster's already jumping, but he's going to get the fake and averted. We'll get enough on it. Under Collision looking to play some misdirection here as they nearly do it here now. They're playing some misdirection on themselves. A team bump in the midfield will slow their offense down, although it won't end it as Patty to take it. Oh. Stop by averted. Under X Collision continuing to go at the net, but still Affinity Sapphire. The defense holds on as it has so well this series. Can they continue doing it? They may not be able to stay by a Inverted again. Unrest Collision cannot break through. Affinity Sapphire holding on by a thread. Man, it is amazing to see that too. Their defense that they had in that first game also trying to combine that with the offense. And now they're trying to make these connections and push the momentum on offense while also holding a solid defense. Averted being the iron wall of Affinity so far in this game. 
I, I can't believe he's made some of those saves. It's quite impressive to see people make even one of those. But as I said, if any Sapphire, their defense has been great so far, but you can't expect them to stay like this forever! Oh. As a dunk from Patty from Point Blank Range! 100x Collision will tie this game up at one as Affinity Sapphire, their nerves only increasing. Seeing that kind of shot in this in that type of moment when you finally get the first goal of your of the series, I I just try to think of what they're thinking right now. How can they have prevented that? And maybe they just need to start doing what they did in order to get that first goal and try to push the offense a little bit more. A reminder that only goal for Vinny Sapphire this game came off of an errant miss play from Collision, a whiff off the back wall. So, if that's what it is, that may only give him a goal. They've got to find something new, and that might be it. Office 12 well, will score, but the real true effort came on the demo from Avert. In fact, he had two demos there, cleaned up that Collision back line, and made this about as easy as it could be for Office 12 well, Man, aver Averted making all these, sa these crazy saves and then switching his mindset to go offensive be on their goal line and get two demos is kind of crazy and it's a good oh it averted in here as i'm saying something about him switching to offense he gets a crazy shot like that with the pass from you dog yeah i mean you mentioned the defense he's now got the offense averted seems to be everywhere right now and uh, we mentioned before this series, someone on Stephanie Sapphire needs to step up. I mentioned they don't really have a step up player. Averted is doing that right now. He is stepping up. It's collision! Oh, they nearly had the ceiling shot from Patty. That nearly was goal two for them, and honestly probably should be. Patty had a great look at that net. I can't believe he didn't score that one for collision. That was a great chance and one that I'm sure that, that uh, Patty would love to have back. You were saying earlier about the quality of the shot versus the quantity. It looks like Affinity Sapphire may have started to realize that the quality of their touches seem to have definitely increased so far in this game. They, they're putting it into the net, but they're also trying to get it past the. They're trying to put it in places they think they might not get, might not be able to save the ball. And it's a hundred collision who are... Having to fight back, their first major battle of the series. We so far have seen a lot of Affinity Sapphire sit back, let the pressure come to them, and kind of die down here for Collision. Let them pass. They're not doing that anymore. Again, I said it took them a little longer than Collision, but they finally learned the 100 Collision playstyle, and you're seeing them adapt to an ERA uh, playstyle. It's a lot more challenge for you. He's winning a lot more of these 50 50s, and is relying on Averted to be that central player for them. And right now, it's working on Affinity Sapphire, the much better looking team now in game number three. And on Collision, will need to, again, make some adjustments to maybe come back as that shot will be just kept wide. Still, Affinity Sapphire keeping their two goal lead as this game is nearing its end. And that is the thing. So we saw the first two games where it looked like Affinity Sapphire was, in fact, still trying to learn their opponents and adjust the way that they're playing. And now that they have adjusted the way that they play, 100X is going to need to figure out how what they need to do also. And it looks like Averted is going to try to get it past the mid, and Hugh Dog's not going to be able to get past Patty on that one. But it's just going to be, a, from this point on, I can see this these games going both teams continuously adjusting their play style to get past the other. Yeah, this game will eventually reach to its end near collision. Won't be able to win in a sweep, nor will they be able to keep Affinity Sapphire in a shutout. So, this series continues onward, but as we've seen a revenge uh, here for Affinity Sapphire, and as I said, this team uh, it plays very close. Uh, I would not be surprised if we have a Champions Field awaiting us after this next game. It would truly be... A spectacle to see how it see if Affinity Sapphire continues to increase their aggressiveness to try to maybe match 100x's aggressiveness because that I I foresee and what I'm predicting is that that is may what be happening what is happening well so far we'll <laughs> look so far they did they did that in game three they definitely brought that intensity that Hunter's Collision love to play with and they did it better. They did it better that game, and, uh, and it is Affinity Sapphire who deserved this game because of it. The series continues on, and as I've said, Affinity Sapphire have played so close in most of their matches. Uh, so far this season, their matches have got, have been two game fives and a game four. So this team has always kept the series close. Maybe we see what will be their third game five of the season for Onyx Collision. I don't believe they've ever gone to game five yet this season, so they really don't want to go to Champions Field. That is a place that no team wants to enter. <laughs> 
Yeah, no team may want to enter it, but we all love to see it. That's definitely true. I uh, I feel that <laughs> as well here. As a guy who used to compete in the Indie Gaming League, uh, I was always good at going to Game 5 in the regular season. Every single week, I always went to Game 5, so I'm happy that I'm not the one who's receiving that now, who has to play for that. It's uh, this time oh. a Sapphire and Hunter Collision who have to play for it. So what I can enjoy watching is, as we might see a Game 5 here, I think uh, for Hunter Collision, they're going to do everything they can to prevent themselves from being there because not only is it going to be a Game 5, which they haven't been able to play yet, it's also a Game 5 and what would be a reverse sweep potential for any Sapphire. They really don't want to have that as here's a great chance. Infield passing from Hunter's Collision opens the net up and it's Omster to finish it off. But again, you, you have to credit Patty here for opening that play wide open. And honestly, I thought he was going to be back in order to save that, but it was a great last touch to get it. Sorry, excuse me. Great last touch in order to get it past the final, man. Oh, and it might just be a kickoff goal from Averted, tying it up one to one. There's, they're out here saying that they are not giving this up so easily. They're not letting them keep the lead. Yeah, so often teams love to play extra, extraordinarily aggressive on the kickoffs, and that happens all far more often than I would love to admit it is. At this level, so many teams look at the, the highest level players and I see them do the kickoff, and I hate to say this actually, that kind of kickoff is actually starting to become phased out for a very specific reason. It's because it's if it goes badly, you get scored on. If it goes well, you probably aren't scoring. So, so many teams are starting to phase out that kickoff, but a collision, still working on it. So many teams at this level still doing that kickoff, and you're seeing it fail here. I've always been an advocator that I don't like the super aggressive kickoff, and uh, teams don't listen to me, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I, that's a reason why I don't like that kickoff so often. And for Collision, uh, that's going to be maybe a lesson to them that that kickoff starts doesn't work because a Finny Sapphire looking for a redirect from Averted. I mean, he's still everywhere on the field right now, and Averted still probably uh, public enemy number one for 100x Collision to deal with. I really don't know how Averted holds on to any boost with him being all over the place on this field. He's a defensive menace, he's an offensive. Oh! And as I'm saying that, Omster puts one into the net, slow shot, pops right over two of them, it looks like, right over Averted, who's trying to get there, over Hugh Dog and Office Walrus, which was sitting on the goal line. Yeah, Alex Collision with a, I got another pass that really, uh, um, that leads to another goal here. That chemistry from them still so strong as now, looking for a solo play might be uh, Omster, but Averted will stop him, and there's Alex Collision looking to make it free as Hugh Dog will beat him. Now looking for the clear, but he'll backflip. Bumped out by Patty. Office Walrus was expecting a touch there from his teammate, and he'll be in an off position, and that's going to lead uh, Finney Sapphire to go backwards as a free flip from Eclipse. Nearly got the beat. A hundred collision continuing the offensive push, but at this point, they're in the lead. They don't have to play nearly as aggressively. It's a Finney Sapphire who have to take chances. Exactly, and what's interesting to me is we were talking about this before, that Affinity Sapphire being more of the team that is centered around passing however 100x is actually getting the passing plays and it's the passing that's opening it up the net for them yeah i mean one of the things about a hundred collision that you know allows them to not totally rely on passing like when sapphire is because they have mechanics is a team that loves to go for solo plays love to be up high up in the air but we're seeing a lot of that being mixed here a lot of high level passes a lot of plays that are staying up in the air that aren't you know that aren't staying on the ground this hundred collision team wants to utilize both, and it's so unique because Affinity Sapphire haven't been able to succeed on passes, but here's a great play, and that oh. one it was wide open. Office Walrus thought he had a much tougher look than it actually was, and Affinity Sapphire getting closer to trying to tie this game up with two minutes left. That chance, while it does go wide, and it's an unfortunate miss, it should give them hope here in the series because they still have every reason to come back in it. And most people would be discouraged at missing something like that, but a lot of people do and should see it as, okay, so we can get those nets, we can get that opportunity, so I'm going to do what, this, what he did last time, and we're going to get it next time. And we'll see if Finny Sapphire can do it. Huda uh, go on by himself, trying to get the fake under Eclipse, but he won't be there as Office Walrus. Moving in for some demos and averted, couldn't keep the offense. Another mistake by the uh, star side player for uh, Finny Sapphire this series, averted. The whiff that's going to uh, fail on the offensive side. Hunter's Collision. Keep playing, but averted with a bump. Omster challenged by Hugh Dog. A finish Sapphire with an all out offensive in this midfield. I am impressed to see them just play that risky, and it has worked for them, although they can't break through. And eventually, Hunter's Collision will just clear it all the way back on offense. Omster got that one, predicted the whiff from Office Walvis, but 
no shot on target for Hunter's Collision. And again, they're just sitting back at this point. They're playing defensively. And it's a finish that for you have to play offense. Here's a chance in front. A save from Office Walrus. And Hugh Dog will clear. Affinity Sapphire continue to play well in the defense, but the offense needs to find a chance soon. Exactly. And you were just saying 100x definitely calm down on their aggressiveness because we got 45 seconds remaining in this game. They know that they are in the lead and they know that they don't need to. So Affinity Sapphire definitely needs to find the opportunity to get past that midfield that they're fi fighting so hard to get, get through. Yeah, and you can just see them do it a lot more aggressively, a lot more in just clearing it through the midfield. They, pay, at this point, time is not their friend. They've got to get chances soon as Patty can't score. Omster prevented. Affinity Sapphire still can't break down the field as Huda getting the, this one in the midfield averted. Pass the clamps averted. One to beats, and it's Patty to keep it away. Huda won't get the follow up, but Collision aren't in actually very good rotations here. They are miscommunicating and rotating poorly. This is the chance for Affinity Sapphire, but they got to get a shot. Huda. Up, averted to go to net, and he's found the back corner with two seconds to spare. Affinity Sapphire are continuing on the comeback. And there is the chemistry right there. I thought both of them were going to end up going at the same time in order to be that aggressive, have that aggressive that they needed to have. But averted saw Hugh Dog there, stopped, let him hit it off the sidewall, and ended up hitting it into the goal. What a great example of this chemistry that you were talking about previously yeah but it's not done yet this game still goes overtime and Hunter's collision can still end the series here no matter how, how good it has been for our finish that bar it may all be for nothing if they don't score again they don't recreate that chance Hunter's collision they can't play that same defensive style anymore they've got to play offense they've got to get chances we know how good this team is as doing it pretty set bar has to catch them off guard, has to continue these really quick offensives because that is what's beating Hunter's Collision, but it's not beating them easily here as this ball continuing to rattle around the midfield. And really, at this point, uh, GD Chess, it's anybody's game, and it might be collisions if they continue what they're doing with these solo efforts. Exactly. And as you were saying, you are seeing 100x being more aggressive. Now, Patty going for some bumps along that goal line there. Nothing being able to pass in front of the net. But you are seeing 100x be more aggressive now because they do not have that lead and it is over time. So Eclipse is up and he's a shot! Oh! oh, oh. An office walrus with the crazy save! And they are going to continue the absolute demolishing of the net. 100x, oh, it almost is free. Patty was trying to doomsday dish it into the net. Definitely Sapphire. Running low on boost, we're not seeing a lot left from these teams when it comes to resources. Collision, holding siege, dwindling them down to their final resources. Averted just out, but Patty to go to net. Office Walrus just gets enough on it, but another boost steal from Patty. Here he goes in front for Omster, but miscommunication will lead this play to die. And Affinity Sapphire will look to clear it out. Eclipse, Office Walrus keeping it close. Eclipse will still challenge Collision, waiting with Patty. Stopped by Hugh Dog. Averted now, demoed away. Hunter's Collision looking to remove the Affinity Sapphire problem, but they still could not break through. Affinity Sapphire, a long play on defense. That was almost two straight minutes of offensive firepower from Collision, and they're going to be the ones that score! <laughs> Office Wallace by himself, and Affinity Sapphire have stole game four from under the noses of 100x Collision. Oh man, you never see anything more satisfying than somebody getting a goal within the last two seconds of the game and then ended up winning it in overtime. Affinity Sapphire definitely pulling the punches there in those first two minutes of only sitting on defense and being so low on boost and then coming back, throwing some aggressiveness and ended up sliding one into their net. Yeah, I don't even think this was an issue for Hunter's Collision. This was a thing about Affinity Sapphire. They wanted this series to continue. And they wanted it so badly, they were able to manifest it. What a play from them. That is an insane overtime. I haven't seen an overtime just that crazy in a while here. But again, we might have another reverse sweep. We've seen so many of them recently. Uh, this, In fact, we had one two days ago on this stream. In the Surge Cup as well. This month specifically has seen three reverse sweeps. Reminder, this has happened 26 times on my stream. And I've been streaming for well over Ooh. two years. So if best of five reverse sweeps are happening at a high price this time, who knows, maybe we'll see more of them. Because seriously, we are starting to see a lot more of them now. And I think that just shows you just how much this momentum matters to every team in this tournament. 
and the interesting thing that I did see that I was looking at was that Affinity Sapphire actually throughout the majority of the game up until the final like minute and into overtime they only had about eight shots on the or sorry it's like six shots on the net and then within that minute minute and a half time period they shot up to five or shot up five shots on net so you definitely saw that they would went to the back to that quality but ended up need, just needing that one quant quality shot yeah, and I voted there. No quality on that shot. Quality on the bump. Look at this play on Omster. I just destroyed him. That is a uh, that's a move that you see in the WWE, not in Rocket League. And yet, I heard it is going all in on it. A great start for Finney Sapphire. That chemistry, that confidence, more rather, has continued here in Game Five. Of course, and what would you gain except for confidence from getting some overtime goal that they just did? Hendricks collision. We know how good this team's offense has been. Once they get up field, they're so tough to shake off. We saw that exploit last uh, game in that overtime. Sure, they didn't score, but they had so many chances. And really, they could have scored in so many different opportunities. It was just a Finney Sapphire. Wanted it just that much more. And knowing how this game will continue, I can't think that Finney Sapphire is going to do that again. And it really is going to rely on them preventing Collision from having that kind of offense. Because if Collision does, a Finney Sapphire are going to struggle. As Omster now, a breakaway chance, but that touch just given away straight to a Finney Sapphire. And so far, Collision are the ones playing defense, are the ones sitting back, and are the ones actually on lower resources than Affinity Sapphire. And really, they just need some time to breathe, and maybe this chance will be it, as they are now holding possession of the ball and holding possession of the offense. It's very interesting to see that so far in this game... Oh! Ooh. Oh, and Q-Dog almost putting one on net, unfortunately bounces crossbar down and out, but... You are definitely seeing them playing way more aggressive, and it's actually the bumps and demos, surprisingly, that are helping them out and making sure they can get those offensive plays. We have Office Walrus going up. You can't make it, but Averted is there to hit it off of backboard. Eclipse trying to get a wall, but Patty with a shot, and it is stopped. I think that was by his teammate. Actually, no, it was Eclipse who wanted that redirect into the nets. But, as you, but you weren't <laughs> wrong in saying that he could have almost stopped his teammate there from scoring. I don't know if that initial chance was exactly on target. But, yeah, that redirect definitely trying to try something new here for Collision. Again, always looking for each other down the field. And you're not going to see that stop here in Game 5. They know it has worked. It has worked for the first two games this series. So they're going to continue utilizing it. Although, again, this is their first time on Champions Field this season. This is their first time going to Game 5. So for Collision, the pressure's on them because for Finney Sapphire, this is Game 5 number 3 this season. They have won both of them already. They are, at this point, Champions Field veterans. Uh, on the RLSS and on my stream and they look to continue it but a bump off of the back wall and a collision with a gift to tie this game at one as uh, Office Walrus removing averted from the play. And unfortunately it may have been on a, their own team and may have been a, in, in a sabotage by a, a teammate but like I was saying, it seems like maybe bumps and demos, something, a new aspect of aggressiveness or offensive pressure is going to be the key to scoring in these final moments of the series. Two minutes left. This game's hot at one. Any play can make the difference. Sunrix Collision. We're going to make it three wins and three wins for Affinity Sapphire. Their undefeated record once again at the mercy of Champions Field. Arx Collision looking to take this one away, but Office Walrus a free play in the midfield, but his shot will go wide. He was looking for that bottom left corner, really the only place he could have scored there. Arx Collision had the whole net covered, but he's that far getting such small looks at that back line and getting such small looks at that open net. They really can't get chances, but averted again. Stopped by Omster. Finney Sapphire continue to challenge, but Omster will clear. This one going back, Office Walrus will send it away. His second touch going up to the back wall. Eclipse, a miss! Office Walrus in front! Who wants it? Eclipse will clear it out. And Affinity Sapphire, another small window. But again, it just goes far, by far too quickly for them to capitalize. Another collision aren't giving them much more to look at. And as we were seeing it, he one got a demo. Averted was actually down the field to try to look for another one. Patty getting a demo and averted clearing the ball out patty trying to take some kind of control and gets a good 50 but hugh dog is able to get it back to the goal line does he get a pass he might get a pass there it's going in front of the net it's a pass and oh 
No! Averted to not quite make it in. It hits the post and bounces out. And now it is back on a Affinity Sapphire side of the field. Patty's going to try to hit it out to the mid. Inverted. Getting a good dribble pass towards the midfield. And is bouncing off the backboard. Eclipse getting one of those bumps that I was previously mentioning. Yeah, here, great challenges so far. And it's Collision looking to continue the defense here. It's a team bump. It's an open back for Affinity Sapphire. I've given him a look, and he will take it. Patty with half a minute to go off of an errant team bump from Affinity Sapphire. Hugh Dog and Averted in the same position. And it's a 100x Collision who will capitalize on what is the go ahead goal for the series. What an unfortunate timing for something like this to happen. We have 30 seconds remaining in this game. Affinity Sapphire, while you were saying they were the Champs Field veterans, they now know that they need to do something here in order to get that last goal. But we can't count them out yet because they've already scored one goal at two seconds here. Yeah, they have. They've already done it before. They've come back at a scarily tough deficit. Now they need to do it again, but here in Game 5 on Champions Field, the pressure's on them, and they've got to get the ball out first, though. And we're timing out another team bump, and that's another chance that goes in. Olmster will scores. Affinity Sapphire have been caught again with the same mistake. Office Walrus and uh, Rudog running into each other, and that will secure Game 5. Another error on the defense will end the undefeated run of Affinity Sapphire. What a crazy game five to be able to watch on Champions Field. You definitely saw 100x capitalizing on the mistakes that Affinity Sapphire was unfortunately making. They were definitely saw what they needed to do and they were trying to push it to that extent. But unfortunately, 100x Collision was able to capitalize on all those mistakes. Yeah, it is. 100x Collision. Who, as you said, have capitalized on mistakes. That's all that matters, even though it may not have been a pretty win for them. Having to prevent a reverse sweep. It is what it is sometimes. It hurts It hurts a lot. I know for Affinity Sapphire, it hurts for them with how their season has been. Uh, but for now, though, what a match that was. A Game 5 victory. It was crazy from the start to end here, and I'm so happy you joined me for this one here. Uh, cheesy Chess. I think we... Uh, Again, I think I think that was a match that was great. I, I, Sundays are always the weird days for me because I always get great matches on Sundays. And um, Hunter's Collision are delivering that. It's only our first of two series tonight as well. Our next one after this will uh, be 909 versus Team Cipher Violets uh, in the Tsunami Cup as well. But uh, for now, Chaz, what a match that was. I mean, it's just a reflect on that series. That was that both teams kind of doing really well. I really felt like that could have been anybody's series with how close it was. But unfortunately for Mini uh, Sapphire, just some, as you said, some some mistakes at the end of the series cost them what well, was uh, another game five that they've gone to their third of the season. And this time, it won't be their charm. Exactly. And what you were saying, they are the game five champions field veterans. And they definitely went in there with the confidence of that title. However, unfortunately for them, 100x Collision was able to come out on top in that situation, which. You could tell from the beginning, throughout all the games, they definitely have the confidence under pressure. They do. They did. But both these teams have a lot of confidence under pressure. Uh, as uh, Again, that's going to be uh, it for that series. We still have another, again, one more after this uh, matchup. But for now, again, just chess. I know, again, you won't be joining us for that series after this. But can I, just to talk about this series and to talk about everything you've been on, is there anything, any kind of last things you want to say uh, here before uh, we'll, again, eventually... Move on to our next match again, 909 versus Team Cypher Violet. Yeah, um, again, I'm just glad to be back and I'm glad to be able to see all of these amazing players and amazing teams and organizations play against each other and watch them grow. I almost said glow, sorry. <laughs> watch them grow throughout uh, not only the, the leagues and even series, but individual games. You get to watch these players grow and it's actually an amazing team to be able to watch. And I'm yeah, glad just, that you had me here, and thank you very much. Of course, guys, we're actually going to get a slight short interview here, I think, with at least one or two of the players of this team, so we'll just quickly go through that. Uh, they actually responded really late. I actually thought for a second they weren't going to join us here for this, but <laughs> uh, they'll join us as soon as they can, hopefully. Awesome. Our next series coming up will be Team Cyber Violet 909. There we go. That's uh, how everything is going to look uh, for the upcoming matchup. So uh, I'm going to be, again, I'm excited for this series, how it will uh, uh, run out, but for now... Again, we're just going to wait on these players. Hopefully they'll be here any moment, because I don't want to have this next series delayed. Well, if we... I, I do need to... 
I, I do usually have like short breaks in between, so we'll see how they're doing. Um, if they actually are going to join us, they may they may still not join us, uh, which is I don't know what's <laughs> happening uh, with these guys. Um, again, what a, uh, a match it is, and really just for that upcoming matchup, I uh, I'm excited because uh, there, there really isn't much better than having one great match until it's followed by another great match. So we'll we'll see if uh, we'll we'll see how that match goes. Is joining us here. Okay, is Eclipse and Ohm. So, uh, a free-to-win. Okay. You guys have ended the undefeated run for Affinity Sapphire. How does it feel, especially, you know, with how close that series was for you guys? Uh, Eclipse, how does it feel, you know, to be able to continue your, what is now your three weeks straight of winning here and taking down a team that has been undefeated so far this season until now? I mean, it feels great, but that was a stressful game. It was a really stressful game. <laughs> <laughs> we started out strong, and then I think that got in our heads, and we just started messing up constantly in the last couple games. As you said, again, it's been uh, one of those things where it felt like things started to kind of go wrong. And we've seen so many reverse sweeps on this stream already. We've, again, we've already seen three this month uh, in of February. So you guys, you know, we're able to vet it being number four. We've seen a, ton a couple teams have issues with that. But uh, uh, for you guys, can you tell me kind of about those middle games uh, and why it was so tough for you guys? We just were stressing that, uh, let's see, what was it? So we, two we were 2-0, they came in. Uh, the first game they won... We, we, were, we weren't expecting them to come out that hard. They started demoing us very, like, really hard. They were demoing constantly and boost starving. We were stressing. We had no boost, no positioning. It was just bang ball. And then we started to get used to the demos, but it was too late by the time we got used to them. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, it's so. Stressful. Big question that I have for you, both of you, is... So you guys are definitely known as more of an aggressive team. Did you guys feel like you had to change your play style a little bit based on the way Affinity Sapphire was playing at all? Maybe be more defensive or try to look for more passing plays than you normally would? No, our play style stood about the same all the way through. Yeah, I think we just played a little bit faster to like, you know, get past the demos and stuff. Yeah, that was about it. Yeah, but also, again, also joining us here, Oma, again, a big win for you guys. Again, your week one was not great. You lost the Def Cloud Esports Quirksters, but... Uh, ever since that first week, you guys have seemingly tried to prove, I think I have done a lot of trying to prove to people how strong you guys are, how scared you guys are, and, you know, I, I feel like this match really has proven for you guys once and for all that you guys do are, are going to be one of the top teams here, do deserve to be considered one of the top teams here, a scary force to be reckoned with. Do, do you feel the same way after this after this win? <laughs> not by any means, man. Top team, not even close. We're, are we up there? Maybe, but no. We, we got a lot of mistakes. We got to fix the team before we can even be close to a top team. All right, Eclipse, you have now done the cardinal sin of stealing somebody else's question, so I've got to ask Ohm a different question here. Uh, don't worry about it, Eclipse. You're not even close <laughs> to the first person who's done that on this stream. I'm sure some people in the chat have actually done this all, uh, as well. There's a lot of players in there. So. I got you, I got you. All by it's, a, it's all right, Eclipse. You're not even the first person 100x to do that. Um, it's all right, buddy. <laughs> Eclipse really wanted that question. Uh, did, here is. Eclipse really was like, no, no, this is my question, Ohm. You, I know it was meant for you, but I'm taking this. Well, uh, Ohm, I gotta find a new question for you, man. Um, again, with that uh, win over Affinity Sapphire, you guys are gonna kind of midway through the season. There's three more matches after this. Akudama, uh, GHG Sunrise, and Central Warriors. Uh, uh, for you guys, kind of, what is your plan for the rest of the season here, Ohm, uh, as a team? What are you guys planning to kind of look for and look to do here? Uh, especially with uh, your next matches being on the easier side, these are not as strong teams, at least on paper. What are you guys going to do to kind of prepare for that? And, you know, what is your kind of your goal as a team? I mean, as a team, I'd say is to, you know, get, obviously win all the matches and get a better seating. And then for me personally, in this season, or in this league, I should say, like, uh, get past the first round on the playoffs because last two seasons in my old team, we did not make it past the first two rounds. So I guess make it past further in the playoffs as well. Well, uh, again, a, I think that's a pretty good goal for, to go for. That's definitely achievable here. As I know, uh, Chas, you again have been, you know, sitting around. Is there any last things you want to say? Any last questions you want to ask these? Um. Yeah. Eclipse, so, Eclipse, you were mentioning that to you wanted you guys needed and wanted to focus on those mistakes. Do you think you would you know anything that you personally think or collectively think you guys do need to work on? Comms are a big thing for sure. Like we need to fix our comms. There's a lot of times where we just stop comming. Comms just disappear, and that's when we start. Yeah, it's just complete silence. So we start double committing, <laughs> open each other. Rotations are cut off. Like it just we go from okay. going comms really good to nothing. <laughs> okay, so comms talking, just going silent, maybe because you're so focused, or mm -hmm. or such as that, or do you yeah. think it's just because 
you don't you don't your your chemistry is so good you can see it in y'all's gameplay but do you think it's just because you get so focused or I'm, or something I'm, else it's definitely we focus it's like when we start scoring and like or it gets stressful we just stop talking and it just happens okay but yeah bad things start nice <laughs> well i'm excited to see you guys improve and keep going through this series season Yes, we've already seen the series here, uh, Chess. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Hey, but hey, they have improved. I will okay. say they did improve in this series. <laughs> I would agree with that. As again, thank you so much for joining us, Eclipse. And um, before you guys go, we got to do a little shout out section. So we'll end off this interview with this before we get to our next series with Team Cypher Violet and 909. Let's start with Oh, Missouri. Shout out you have any final statements you want to make? Uh, well, shout out my team, obviously, and then shout out Thrifty and 100X as well. But other than that, yeah, that's about it for me. We'll end things off with Eclipse. Is there anything you want to add, Eclipse? Before uh, we'll end this interview, uh, and uh, you guys will kind of be on your way. Oh, I'm covered it all. Oh, Ohm's, uh, oh, you know, you, you stole Eclipse. Uh, Ohm's, uh, Eclipse stole Ohm's uh, questions. Ohm's gonna steal Eclipse's shadows. It, it evens <laughs> out that way. I think. Um, here is again. Congratulations on your win here, Eclipse, and Ohm. A free two, preventing the reverse sweep uh, of uh, your opponents here in a Finny Sapphire. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. And uh, to you as well, Chess. Uh, we got to go to a quick little break, but when we come back, we'll be Team Cyber Violet 909. Thank you as well. Thank you as well for joining in. It's been a great day uh, uh, being here with you. I'm ha so happy that you've been able to join back because it's been it's been too long. Of course, uh, it was amazing being here. Like again, being able to see teams and organizations that were here when I was here previously. They've grown and gotten so much better. It's awesome. It has been. As again, we'll be back with the next match, guys. Give us a few minutes for a break. We'll be back soon. We have teams of Violet 909.
Hello everybody, welcome back to the Sportia stream here. We've got another best of five coming up, our final match of the night, in fact, from the Rocket League Splash series. It's Time Cyber Violet versus 909. Before we do that, we'll take a look at our schedule here. Again, we, if you guys weren't here, we, we just got to see uh, an Eric's Collision take down a Finny Sapphire in a Game 5 victory. Again, now we got a match up here with Team Cyber Violet and 909. What a match that will be! I'm excited for that and everything that it will have to come and show us. But for now, again, we've we've seen No9 actually on the stream very recently when they won the ATS Legends Cup. But this is a actually different roster for No9. Only a few players second round actually uh, on this version of the team, when being Sanzo, Spade, I believe. Yeah. Big series for these guys because 909 are newer into the Tsunami Cup division. This is GC3 and up, so they're actually on the higher rank for it. They're actually on the lower rank for this division. It's going to be a tough match for them as they play, take on Seems like Violet, who we actually have seen recently. Well, not recently, but we've seen before. With Madius Maximus at the lead, you will recognize him mostly because he was on the, night, the main roster for the Knights of Chaos for a time. Uh, and then that, yeah, that team became Strikers of Chaos, and we've seen this guy before a good amount on Team Cypher Violet. Well, we have not seen him on Team Cypher, but we've seen him a good amount before. Last time I think he was on the stream, though, was quite a while ago. Again, back when he was on uh, Rikers of Chaos and Team Regain, that was back in, I'm looking at it, May of 2023, so almost a year ago. Uh, he is, he's not been on the stream for a while, so it's nice to see him back uh, on the stream after such a long time, amount of time off. And again, he's such a, you know, and I remember him so much, he is such a, you know, he's such a simple player in how they play. Both these teams are so simple in how they play. They don't do anything crazy. They're not anything crazy mechanical. These are teams that are just... You know, trying to keep up with the top level, do as well as they can. And, uh, again, we'll see how these teams do. Both of them having some pretty rough seasons so far, though. 909 are 0-2. They have not even played, the, they actually didn't even get to play the Week 1 match. They were a team that added, was added into this division later. So, they're actually, the Week 1 match will be played later this season. But their loss have been to Aspire, who we saw them lose to in a sweep. And Weber States, which is a pretty tough start for them. Aspire is pretty solid as well. Their team, Cypher, their losses came to Mach 10 and Dysfunctional. Also been doing pretty well. Their only win is against the peak rank Cs, who actually had a pretty good season themselves. So, you know, one and two record for Team Cipher, and zero oh and two record for nine oh nine. Both these teams need to try to uh, adjustments here this season. Really get some wins that are going to be important. We're already kind of nearing that midway point of the season. So, this one new season, you got to start getting wins because those playoffs are no easy place uh, to get into, especially in the Tsunami Cup. It is no easy place and. If you don't get those wins, even though everybody, I believe, is guaranteed to make to the playoffs because there's only 16 teams in the Tsunami Cup, they're really not making this easy for themselves. Because that Tsunami Cup is a tough place to be, and there is no guarantee we'll have an easy matchup, so... We'll get these teams uh, involved as soon as we can for this best of five. I know you guys can't see the Team Cypher Violet logo that easily. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. It's it's a pink, it's it's a, it's a purple logo and it's on a blue background, so it doesn't work super well, um, unfortunately. But um, now again, this is a this is a fun match. I'm excited to see how this one will work for these teams. Is again, we're just waiting on uh, some updates on these players, how they'll be doing, where they'll be going. Again, Team Cypher Violet 909. Yeah, a best of five series. Again, both for matches tonight are. That's the five, so this will be our final match of the day. It's, I know it's a bit of an early ending time, but hey, we got to see some great matches here from the Rock League Splash series. Even if they do come a bit earlier than expected, obviously, the Rock League Splash series. Sponsored by Gamerzone.tv, Investment Entertainment, Lions Ever Gang, Headscarf Gang, Purchase and Resale, and Claim to Fame. You can see all of them. Wrong way. This way, up in that top right corner. That's all the logos of the sponsors. Obviously, you, your next stop, obviously, being someone that uh, an organization I worked with often on this stream. So they also are on this stream as well. So. Any big match if you guys want to uh, book me for any future matches and any future weeks uh, you can just DM me on discord or message me on Twitter or X whatever it is at Sporty FC RL discord obviously at Sporty FC uh, you can also find my discord server with exclamation point discord in chat to say hi there but now just eating on uh, some updates uh, from a players here this will be a Interesting match as well. Um, again, we're just as again we're just getting these teams involved as quickly as we can here. We're gonna we'll, we'll get them in for this best of five. It's part of the tsunami cup again. GC three and up. So all these teams are on the lower rank side of that. They 
Again, their seasons have not been amazing uh, so far, fortunately for them. They're they're, not, they're really nice teams, but they have uh, had some issues so far. Again, rough records, 1-2, 0-2. Two, oh, two. Um, as again, we're just waiting on these teams. As soon as they're in the lobby, we'll be good to get going uh, for the series. Just getting things updated. We'll take a look. Those last rosters again. Again, this uh, teams are violet side. Blue players that you know. So I already mentioned about Max. I haven't even mentioned about Mew. Mew Jr. Who, who's been on the stream a, a good couple times in the past as well. I believe he was on Mach 10 at one point. Solid player all around. Also 909. You'll recognize Sanzo. He's been on the stream a ton. 909 being the team that he's been on for a while at this point. And obviously joining him also in Spade. These two have been longtime teammates. Says, oh, Chas with a little bit of a, a donate. Thank you for the donate, Chas. And he's saying I'm cute. Well, thank you, Chas. Um, you're, no, you're, you're, you're cool as well. Um, I think you look good. Um, as we'll get these teams in as soon as we can. Again, I, I do find it kind of funny for 909 against Sanzo, Kill Spade, these guys together, but I find I can wings. You did not see them in 909. I uh, played on the stream for that, uh, most recent Legends Cup 1 tournament, which again, they did win. That was a tournament that capped at GC1. They were able to take the victory in that. And part of the, and the, uh, part of the $100 prize pool. Obviously in, obviously in the Arc League Tsunami Cup is a little more difficult. There's a lot of high level teams. We'll have to see how they do here. We're just mentioning these teams. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see when they're here. So hopefully they'll join in any moment. Again, 909. Team Cypher Violet. In this match. And part of the Tsunami Cup, the second highest division of the Rocket League Splash Series. As uh, we'll wait on these teams, but actually 909 has already joined. It is their starting roster in Sands of Killer and Spade, so they're not changing up their roster, that's for sure. I will see how teams have Violet responds at who they're going to be playing. I would assume that it's probably their starters and Matt's Flip and Mew. But uh, we'll see about that. We obviously have Luis for Moro as their substitute by the looks of it. Guys, hello Tommy and chat. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hopefully you are doing well, my friend. Just getting these we're trying to get these teams in the lobby as soon as we can here. As uh, again. Just waiting on team at Cypher Violet. As again, apologies on the delays we're having, but hopefully they'll be here any moment for this. Uh, what should be with a, a good series here. Um. Again, I don't know what's happening. I actually, I'm, I'm actually gonna message them in like a minute or so, see what they're up to. Again, we'll get these teams any in any moment here. Again, if you didn't see already, I'll tell you about because we had an amazing series. We had uh, a hundred collision takedown of Indy Sapphire, which no team has been able to do so far this season. It's again, it's, it's absolutely impressive that they've been able to do it. Again, I think I'm assuming just Team Cypher is just on a like a practice match. They'll be here any moment. Hopefully in like a minute or two, but uh, we can wait for them. This is only this is our last match of the night, so we are in absolutely no rush. And my adrenaline's high though, which is interesting. I don't know why my adrenaline feels like this; it just does. But uh, I'm excited for this series. As prediction poll again is going to close in just a few minutes. Get your votes in, Team Silver Violet or 909. Tell us who you think will take the series here in the Tsunami Cup final match of. The week and again, Sunday is always an insane day for matches. I always seem to get the best matches on Sunday. Um, or at least on average, I get to the best matches on Sunday per week. So we'll see if this match can live up to what the last match was like, which again, last match was insane. Collision winning and preventing the reverse sweep. 909 still looking for their first win of the season as well. Again, an 0 2 record. They have not had a very good time so far. But teams have about every team that's close to them on the standings. Uh, if there's anything they can beat, it would be this team. I think they could definitely beat Team Cypher Violet. It's going to be up to them to make that happen. Uh, 
and just waiting on uh, updates here. As uh, again, apologies on the delays that we're having. I'm hope hopefully they'll be here any moment. I did send them match lobby. In. Be here very soon. Obviously, as any high-level team is, they're always going to be a little bit late. It's always the high-level team that are late. Uh, what, do, what is it with you guys? You're, you're always the ones that are late on this stream, so... Uh. We never late. And, okay, Sanzo, yeah, you are, not, you are not late. 99 generally isn't late. Uh, I don't know why, but the majority of high-level teams seem to be late sometimes. As, uh... As they are just joining. Okay, we just got a message from uh, Cypher. They are going to be joining in just a minute. So, they'll be here any moment. Sorry about that delay. Um, everybody there in chat, we'll be setting up in just a minute. Oh, there we go. We got an, I've got a message from Matt. Uh, they're, one, of the, they're, one of their players is not online, so they cannot join. No wonder they are late. They don't have a, a third player with them. So, we'll wait on them. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a problem with waiting. Again, we don't have a match after this, so... I don't mind waiting, seeing what's happening, but we are getting a message from Team Cypher why they're late. They just don't have a third player with them, which, yeah, they cannot play without a third player uh, here tonight, so we'll wait on them. No, no issues. Um, yeah, again, apologies on that, but again, Matt being from Knights of Chaos, I, that org I don't think is around anymore, which is sad. I loved that org when I was on it. It was a great place to be. Streamed a lot of matches for that team. Obviously, all those matches that I have streamed are on my YouTube. See? Um, as uh, We'll get these players in any moment. As uh, We are actually getting a message here. From uh, Teams I've uh, more in info. Uh, it might be some sort of disconnect issue they're having. Apparently, they might need five minutes here, so we'll wait on them. And how long until forfeit win? 15 minutes. Sanzo, same rules as usual. It used to be uh, in this league 10 minutes for one game win, but it's 15 minutes. It's a, it's a flat 15 minutes now. They, uh, I think their rules are flipped 15 minutes. Tommy is there. So if I am wrong, Tommy, correct me, but I believe it's it's 15 minutes this season now. And it's, just, it's, it's like most leagues. 15 minutes before we get that forfeit loss. So again, we are waiting. They are here. They are going to join in just about a couple minutes. So, uh, again, though, unfortunately, we are going to be delayed. But, um, both these teams will be here on time. I, again, I, hopefully these teams aren't going to have anything important they have to do. Uh, if they do, that is bad timing. Um, as again, Team Cypher Violet having a disconnect issue with one of their players. They'll be, they'll be here, though, before that 15 minute time is, time limit is up. Take on 909, who... I've just left the lobby. I did tell both these teams. We're going to push our match start time a few minutes later. They'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, well, I'll let them, you know, warm up, continue, continue to do that. It's so easy for teams to kind of be a bit cold in the lobby. So, generally speaking, I often let teams go and do that. Because it's not really fun to sit in a lobby for 10 minutes. I'll, I'll let them have a few minutes just to warm up, talk with each other. As I am correct. Great. It is 15 minutes a season. I am... I think I've asked you that before, Tommy. I think you've always clarified to me. But yeah, it is 15 minutes this season. As is most leagues. Most leagues do 15 minutes. I don't remember the last time I've been in a league that doesn't do 15 minutes. Um, it's very rare to not do 15. Even so, I generally just do 15 because that feels like enough time to give teams uh, for when they need to play. So we'll, again, wait on the, uh, these teams to join the lobby in just a few minutes. Again, apologies on the delays. But we'll be getting started in... Just a couple moments. What a, what a Sunday evening this is. Again, it's a great end of the week. I've streamed a ton this week, so I'm happy to continue doing it. Uh, we've already got matches for tomorrow scheduled. At least one. We'll have at least one match tomorrow, so we'll be live again soon. Uh, with some matches from the Blackland Championship Series. So, we'll be live again. We've got some upcoming tournaments. Um, very, very soon, so I'm excited to see what happen. And we'll just wait on some quick updates here. So again, we're just getting some, trying to get some messages from these players. How many tournament points do I need for VIP? I don't know actually. What 
Does, does, does it say anything? Uh, how many? I don't actually don't know how many points it is. Is this like a consistent thing over channels, or I don't have a VIP board? Um, there isn't any. Well, I don't know oh, how the whole VIP thing works. I don't think I'm big enough for that. Unless I am, and I just don't know how to do it. But you want one? Oh, I get that, Senzo. Um, I mean, there is a twenty thousand point your choice award, so you want to redeem that and. And see if you can help me set up a VIP reward system. That's fine, but that's gonna that's gonna take a long time. So I need to have some couple days to do that. So if you have twenty thousand points, go do it. <laughs> go go get twenty thousand points. Maybe you can help me set up something. Yeah, seventeen k. My goodness. All right then. As uh, no wonder you actually might hit that twenty k very soon on this stream. I know he I know stands a watch is a good amount though. So you'll hit it sometime soon. Just speaking when people redeem that, they oftentimes will be like setting up tournaments or setting up a fun like very unique show match. I know there's another one for, like, casting something immediately, so... Can definitely work things out here. As we are getting our messages, these teams will be in at the match start time, so... That will be good to know. Hopefully these teams are joining in by uh, at this point. As they are, they all joined at the exact same time, so... Uh, as actually, it's going to be Mew, Matt, and Luis Fomoro playing in, so not... Uh, the usual second... They're here for teams are violet in flip in the lobby. As again, we'll get some updates uh, on these teams how they're feeling, but they should be good to go. There you go. We'll get, we'll get these teams in the lobby here. Sorry about the delays, everybody, but we'll have our series here. Nine on nine, taking on Team Cypher Violet. Our final match uh, of the day and of the week here, part of the Tsunami Cup from the Rocket League Splash Series here in their season five. Both teams have struggled this season so far. So this match really means a lot for these teams and confidence and also just their chances of making it far in the playoffs. If you don't get a good record, you're basically guaranteed to lose that first round. There's so many really good teams in Tsunami Cup. To play against any of them would be an absolute terrible idea for these teams. So, I, I mean, they're hoping obviously not to have that happen, but their seasons have uh, they've gone already. Very likely we're going to see them probably have tough first round matchups no matter which way you look at it. Although, again, for both these sides, I will tell, and well, we've already seen 909 how good they can be on the stream at that GC3 level. They won, again, that uh, most recent Ascent Tournament Series uh, Legends Cup 1, which, again, is a GC3 level tournament. But that was against a pretty different group of teams. Did win the finals, though, over Team Silenced on this stream. Now it's up to them here in the Splash Series. See if they can make adjustments to that. Really, they're going to be playing as a lot more SSL level sides. But again, Team Cypher Violet, I guess, more towards their level, at least when it comes to skill and rank points. Let's see how this works here as Team Cypher 909. Going to play the offense here as 909 will clear Killa off to the side wall. Loose for Moro's waiting, but Killa's second touch will be directed away by Team Cypher as Mew. In the midfield for Magnus Maximus. Still, though, 909 doing well at holding that midfield. That's what they did so well against Team Silence is that they have that kind of midfield presence that is so tough to get rid of. Right now, they haven't been able to break through, but they're getting closer and closer. An infield pass will not find a connection. Still, 909 are attacking. Killa in front for Sanzo, who has gotten more aggressive recently. And now he plays this 909 roster. He's gotten more com comfortable with them. We're seeing him again succeed more because of it. As now a shot from him will be saved away by Mew Jr. And... 909 who are continuing to play aggressively up the field. It really is only a matter of time before they get one in, and that will be it. Sanzo with the shot. 909 with goal number one in the series as they finally break through. It was going to, it was only, again, as I said, it's only a matter of time before they got it. And it's Sanzo who finds the finisher. And again, as I said, he has gotten more aggressive as time has gone on, as this team has gotten more comfortable to each other. Nine oh nine. Put the series off in their favor, but Team Cypher, Cypher Violet, always looking for an answer, always looking for some sort of response. And with how this game has gone already, they haven't had much to do with offense. But to be fair, against nine oh nine, it's pretty tough to have any real look at offense because this team, again, has such a good midfield. Once that breaks down, though, that's when you can really uh, bring the battle to this team and really take them down quite quickly. They rely a lot on that midfield, so if it doesn't work well for them, they're beatable. They're very, very beatable. That's what Team Cypher Violet has to look at. 
Here's that midfield, but right now they haven't got a chance. This killer will make it 2-0. Offense only continuing for 909 as with the shot there, but it was a bump in front from Spade on Mew Jr. that will open the net up. I know nine. They're looking to attack, but his team Cypher looking to go the other way. As Sanzo, good back by Luis Famaro. It is Luis again up to the back wall, but Sanzo will have no issue clearing that one. Again, we're seeing so much of this pressure for this one side and. You know, so much of 909 being the midfield, they really have always been able to be a team that, that relies on the midfield. Any team with Sanzo on it is a team that relies on the midfield. We saw him back on OK, 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 you know, a long time ago, back before 909. That team felt very similar to this one, although not nearly as strong on the offense. And Sanzo's always one of those players who always finds teams that have a solid midfield presence. Just, you know, he's one of those players who we always kind of asked of, where's the offense when you need it? And, Obviously on 909, this team actually is bringing some offense that is definitely going to be necessary to play against teams at this level. Team Cypher Violet is one of them, and right now, they're not able to keep up here as off the back ball. Spade won't reach it. Luis Vermora will be stopped short of the net. 909, holding on to their shutout for now as a minute left to go. Team Cypher Violet closing in on that orange net, and they will get another chance. Spade will prevent it, but Matt coming in again. We'll look across the goal, but... Nobody there, 909. We'll clear that ball away. They'll keep it close to Spade. Oh, what a dunk. He's put it on target. And 909 will be leading by three. As it was just given so much space. Look at how much time he had on that ball. He's going to put it to good use here and capitalize on Team Cypher Violet's lack of defense. And that's going to be a, a tough uh, one to solve there for them. Because for Team Star Violet, just a little too much patience is going to cross them here. What is a admittedly great play from Spade, but still one that really shouldn't have gone, gotten there in the first place. Now 9 continuing to keep the attack, but at this point in this in this game, I think for them, they're just going to look to game number two. What can they do there to only improve on their play style? Ever Violet's going to give them a tough run for it, but now 9 right now are just better. I don't think there's going to be any questions about who's taking this game. 909, at least starting off this series, showing us the 909 that you expect. The midfield-based team that, you know, is able to play the offense because their midfield is so strong. That's, again, what teams are about, have to focus on. That's what every team has to focus on when you're playing against 909. How do you beat their midfield? Because once you do that, again, as I said, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not too... Complex what 909 do. It's just, it's a pretty, they do it very well. And if it seems like Violet, they're going to have a lot to do here to, try to, improve, try to improve enough that they can take down 909 because what we're seeing in game one is just not it. 909 will be off to the quick start here that they're looking for. In the game number two, I think we're just going to see them continue that here with a shot differential of 13 to 2. 909, as I said, that midfield really did everything for them. And they have to kind of hold that midfield with all their strength because, that, again, that's what their playstyle relies on. It's midfield everything for 909, and if you can't stop, if you, if you can't stop their midfield, they're going to beat you. I think teams like Violet have learned that, and uh, again, going into this game, next game, they can now see if they can put a new playstyle to use that can take down the 909 side. It really, just is they have to have a better midfield. That's it's so simple to say it like that, though. It really isn't. It's simple to you know run the midfield. So for uh, Team Cipher Violet, the work not done. The work not even close to being over. They're gonna continue this, but 909 may just start off well as well as here comes Spade, and that nets open for him. 909 will score again. As Team Cipher Violet continuing to struggle in the midfield in every way possible. A big 50 win there for Spade and. Literally does that all by himself. Five seconds in, nobody else on 909 wanted to touch the ball. Maybe we'll do it, do it there, and 
Team Star Violet still there. Looking for that net, so they'll get it. It's loose for more off the kickoff. And Team Star Violet have answered back off the kickoff. It's only been eight seconds of gameplay, but we've seen two goals. As Team Star Violet connecting off a great win from Matthias Maximus. Luis Fermoro. We'll tie this game up, and we're back to an all square battle. Team Cypher. Seeing a lot more reliance, at least immediately on the kickoff. Sure, it's only 20 seconds of gameplay, but you know, a lot more in the 50s than what I think we saw before from them. Could it have something to do with pace? Could it have something to do with the fact that they are waiting a lot more on these challenges to get them with 909 to force them out of position? Whatever it is, it's an interesting change to make to go for the 50s. I think it's one that really does, you know, slow down 909. And it's one that I think is more respectful of the fact that their midfield can win a whole battle by itself. So for Team Cypher Violet, they're playing to that midfield. Just looking to do something that's a little bit more creative, but they still can't find enough to get it out of the defensive half. Spade will score again here this game. And 909 continue here as, uh, oh dear, Matt and Luis Romero in the same position. You know Luis wanted that block, but he couldn't get to it with a teammate run right behind him. We're not even through this first minute already, 909. With two goals, Cypher Violet with one. Oh, and continuing the scoring here. A little flick from Killer, but it will not go for Spade. Team Cypher will hope to slow this gameplay down a little bit again, trying to go for the 50-50s, go for some slower outplays. And a 9 isn't ready for any of that and isn't willing to take any of that. So Violet might have to continue to make adjustments because what they're doing right now hasn't been enough. It's engaging with the midfield of, of uh, 909, but it isn't actually beating them. That's kind of what they need to do here. They need to beat that midfield one way or another. I am also talking, I mean, we've only been through 90 seconds in this game, so there's still a lot more time left for Team Cypher Violet. The playstyle probably has a lot more facets than just 50-50s. At least I hope it will. I don't know, it's a pretty, it's a team that's, you know, again, as I said, the playstyle seems pretty simple. It's not easy to beat them. That was a great touch from Mew. Will give Team Cypher Violet some offense here, maybe some time to get some plays linked up as Luz for Moro. Nearly found the effort there. Matthias Maximus off the sidewall. Early challenge from Spade won't connect. Mew Jr. up, but his play will go high. And Tanzo will try to keep this one slow for 909. As they won't break out, but they won't let Team Cyber Violet get near them anyway either. And if gets out of the way, a musty flick from Sanzo. Was looking for a little bit of uh, fun there. Just trying to get a third goal for 909, but he lost the handle on that one. As Team Cyber Violet looking to answer back for that show of skill that didn't work well. Might even get a two. Mew on target. Killer will keep him out. Steven Cypher is still attacking. Speed will redirect this one high for Sanzo. The pinch goes high and wide. And it will be 909. We'll go back the other way. I mentioned so much about how they hold the offense, but well, another thing is how they create it. The midfield is really part of it's, you know, is holding the offense. Part of it's also how do you make food to get to offense when you're stuck on the back line? And I, and they just do it so fast as well, so decisively. Just look at how quickly they get up to these balls. It doesn't give much time for Team Cypher to respond to it as that play just wide. But Killa will score. And 909 take another one as a perfect example of the midfield is the pace at which they get this ball away. 909 dictating the pace of play, dictating the flow. Team Cypher Violets are at their mercy. A little under two minutes to go. Team Cypher, again, they made some adjustments in the game number two, but as I said already, it just doesn't feel like enough. 909's midfield still reigning supreme. Team Cypher, a lot to do here to adjust, a lot to adjust to. 909 take control here again. Sanzo, on his way by Matt, but this play in the midfield will lead to Team Cypher looking to make new offense but they again they're just sending this ball in field they aren't getting space and they aren't getting chances Sanzo deflected wide by Luis Vermoro as Killa they look at the dunk on Mats and this ball kind of pinballing around in the midfield but it is 909 as again who are just better at holding the ball in the midfield better at playing the midfield Cypher you think maybe at this point they gotta start playing the fast break something different where maybe they start to not rely on the midfield being such a major point in this game you can't beat 909, maybe, because at least what we're seeing right now, they can't beat 909 playing the playstyle that 909 is going for. 
means they then have to just, if, if they want to beat the midfield of 909, of 909 it's about allowing that playstyle to not really be that successful in the first place. And, you know, playing defensively, going for quick outplays, going for fast breaks up the field, counterattack options is a great way to do that. Still, they haven't found that opportunity, they haven't found the pace to do so. Really, has no easy solution for Team Cypher Violet. And I is putting them between a rock and a hard place, and Team Cypher cannot seem to get them beat, but Mew will be saved by Killer. That's almost a goal there that maybe could have given them hope. Still, Team Cypher's going. Luis Memorial out to Mew again, but that play will be stopped. 909 will keep the play out here in game number two. A two goal lead with 10 seconds left. Just gonna keep Team Cypher Violet out for a few more moments, and this game will be theirs as. That play directed wide, and time will run out. Match point for 909 here in the series, and Team Cypher Violet have a lot they need to adjust to because 909 are continuing to show the midfield and continuing to win through the midfield. Another great game win for them, again, just doing the same thing they did last game, although not nearly as successful. I think a lot of it came to Team Cypher Violet trying some new things that could work in the midfield. I mean, again, we saw a lot of them, uh, you know, kind of play for the 50 50s. Going into game three, we've got to see something else added to that. The Cypher aren't going to win based on just 50 50s. It's going to take a lot more effort to beat 909. Here we go, game three on DFH Stadium. 909 could take the series here. His team, Cypher, who will. Look to go back the other way. Look to make some changes. Again, as I said, you gotta adjust somehow. They have a lot of options here when it comes to playing that midfield. They could go for demos, they could go for 50-50s, they could go for a lot more passing options, they could play really aggressively that way, and they could also go for a you know play stuff where they wait a lot more, push 909 up, and let the 909 midfield weaken a little bit more. Whatever it is, they've got to find some sort of option to work with, because it is 909 who are putting them under that kind of question, under the microscope. Seems like for Violet who have not been able to answer back as that's an open midfield here from you, Junior. He'll go for the net, but with a boost. Oh, he's going to get it. Wait a second. Sanzo with that one. And uh, Team Cyber Violet will take the lead in quite an unlikely scenario as it's about as easy as it gets for Sanzo. You don't expect a player like him to miss those opportunities. Team Cypher. As we back, as you see Sandro in chat with the what a save. Uh, recognizing his own blunder there. It's about as routine as those plays can get, but he'll answer back with a ceiling shot. Oh, the duality of Rocket League. It's so beautiful at times. We just saw Sanzo whiff what is a gimme save. But on the other side, he'll go for what has been our best goal of the series so far. 10 09. If you want to ease their fears a little bit, Sanzo definitely doing it with that goal. This game tied up. It's almost as if his mistake never happened. And I'm still attacking here as Spade, Tequila. Sanzo again continuing to be the offensive firepower that this team really is relying on a lot more. And again, it's so crazy to me to see a player like Sanzo do that as we're seeing another whiff here. Villa is going to take that goal, but once again, the defense is... Napping here. As Mew Jr. I had 20 boosts left in the tank. That is not a hard save to make. What on earth is happening here? I don't know. I'm with the lead in, in a very strange manner. They aren't complaining. It's them who are going to benefit from it as they nearly got number three there. Sanzo trying to dribble it through the defense. As we keep on going here in game number three. Team at Cyber Violet need something, and they may have just gotten with that flick, but it's kept out by Sanzo. What a pinch! The power on it to keep Team Cyber Violet away, because that could have been a goal for them. That really should have been a goal for them. In so many situations, uh, nine will rely on Sanzo's defense.
909. Turn to keep ball control and really force teams to play to them. But they will, and it's Luis Vermora who will have it. Looking for the double fake, but nobody on 909 was willing to bite on that initial chance. Will lead to some offense from Sanzo. Stopped by Luis Vermora. As many as Maximus will clear, and Team Cypher Violets at this point trying to keep their series alive. It's Killa. Off the back wall, no second touch. Sanzo. Luis Vermora. Spade. Sidewall, second touch, doesn't get much there, but 909 will keep the play going. Sanzo in front, cleared by Mew. Matt won't get it either. Team Cypher once again, waiting back as, oh, what a fake from Killa. Now he gets past two, into the corner, but he can't get the bump on Matt. Team Cypher will simply put, just dribble the ball back and create their own offense. I mean, they're the ones that need a goal, so they gotta start getting a bit more aggressive, a bit more ruthless on how they play. Lose for Moe, jumps, and Killa's gonna take it. So often in that position, if you are Luis Vermora, you have to expect the strong shots, but Killa throws a change up at him. Makes him jump early. Beautiful position from 909. And now they have insurance here in game three, looking to end the series in a 3 0 sweep win. They'll continue the offense. Spade now. Luis Vermora will clear, but his team, Cypher, who. I have to play even more aggressively at this point, and you're seeing it just not work. 909 will score again. Spain with another in incredible goal this series. And I mean, just look at this. Oh my, that is beautiful from Spade. You'll take it, that's for sure. 909. Continue on the scoring. As under, 90, as under 90 seconds to go, feels like this is 909's game and Team Tougher Violet won't have an answer. Still, 909 looking for more on target. Will be taking away the Cypher. Going the other way, sending all, everybody upfield and they may have actually worked for it. Luis Vermora in front! That one just a little wide from Mew. 909 going back the other way. Spade already pre-jumping this! And he's going to get the touch on that nearly. Was able to drop it in. 909 feeling confident and for good reason. Why wouldn't you be at a 4-1 um, advantage? As Team Cypher looking for anything, any confidence, any way back. That might be their chance. Luis hits it wide, but no follow-up will come. And 909 with an open goal in front of them. Killa's going to score that. And 909 will take it. And again, Cypher sending everybody up field, but to no avail. 909, surely that's the dagger for the series. Team Cypher Violet, I can't think they have much of anything left in them to come back in this matchup. Though there are 30 seconds left, just a formality at this point, I think. N09, going to take the series in a 3 0 sweep. Team Cypher on the other side. Their woes continue this season. It has been a rough time for them, and I think it got tougher here. N09 is definitely a team that was. Those are them in the rankings, but obviously, as you see, the 909 side just far better right now. It really is that midfield that does the work for them as they'll almost get one more goal. They will, actually. It's an own goal from Matthias Maximus. And 909 just going again just because why not? And as if this game needed any more goals, they'll, they'll take it there anyways. 6-1 to one now, 909. This series is over, though. It's a free sweep for 909. They'll take the win. Team Cypher Violets. Well... There's not much good out of this series for them. They're going to go back to the drawing board, back to trying to think of what they can do, try to help themselves out this season, because it has been a rough run for Team Cypher Violet. 909 will deliver them on yet another loss this season. But for 909, it's a glorious time for them. Their first win of the season as a team. 1-2 record may not be amazing, but I think for 909, they'll be perfectly ac accepting with uh, how it is right now. Because they can come back later on this season. It's for Team Cypher again. Rough season for them. Their third straight week of, of losing. It's only going to get tougher because their next two weeks are Weber State and, Asp and Aspire. So I don't think, uh, I, don't, I don't know for Team Cypher if they have much, uh, if, if this is a very hopeful outlook into their season. They've got to really, uh, they've got to do a lot here if they want to turn things around because those next matches are going to be tough for 909. Their next match is going to be against Untitled Esports, which is a team that they definitely can beat uh, next week. But if they can do it, now, though, I'll be happy.
with this. Again, it is Sanzo company with the win. Uh, we'll get the uh, a little interview here with 909. They did, they, they did want one, so we'll get them to join us as soon as they can. As joining us here is Sanzo. Welcome in, Sanzo. Fio sweep over Team Cypherfight. Your first win of the season for 909. It's been a bit of a rough start, but uh, you guys need to kind of get yourself used to it. And now that you are, you get that win. How good does it feel to finally be able to beat one of these teams? You, know, you guys know you can do it. Now you can prove it here on the field. Yeah, no, it feels really good. We were kind of disappointed with our first two losses, and it feels really good to be a game like this. Yeah, it definitely has to, and especially against teams like who have not had a great season themselves. They've uh, struggled a bit, but uh, for you guys, you, again, it's always the midfield for you guys. that continues to be strong, and specifically, Sansa, we're continuing to see you advance more onto offense, more upfield. You know, tell me kind of, you know, about that kind of play style, about the offense that you like to play, and really about this team as a whole, because so often you're usually the blast one back on teams. Uh, what is it like to play more aggressively here with this newer 909 roster? Uh, I think it's like pretty easy to do it because Spade and Killer are just sh like so strong offensively, and me just being there and just like mixing it all together, it's just the skill that like the offensive skill level of all of us is just way too high that to like not play like that, you know. So it's just I don't know. It's just well offensively good, and it just it naturally has that play style. As you said, it's a more natural feel for you guys. And, well, again, it definitely looked natural against Team Cypher Violets. And, you know, this team and Team Cypher Violets, I was going to say, I would say that they maybe gave you some scares, but it really didn't look like that. You guys came in with full confidence. And, again, it, for you guys, it, it's definitely, again, a good feel, a feel good feeling to finally win. Being a team that was added in kind of actually after the after the signups ended, so I'm going to start a little bit late. You know, I mean, what it was like to kind of get used to RLSS because this is, in, this is a very interesting league. It's definitely a different league. And, you know, as is many leaks, getting used to it's not easy. So for you guys, it took a couple of weeks. Um, you know, what was that kind of process like for you guys, kind of joining into this, you know, league and having to get used to it, you know, while the action was still happening? It was a little weird having like everyone kind of know each other already and having all the teams set and then us just coming out of nowhere. It was it was a little weird at, at first, but it's like it's just basically one game a week and it's like it's like a lot of the other late leagues. So. It was kind of easy just like get in and start going. And and that makes a lot of sense as well. And for you guys, again, you're it's rough because you get to play against Aspire and Weber State in those first two weeks. And those teams are at the top of your division. So, uh, I mean, it's it's been a, a tough one. It's been, again, those first two weeks were tough for you guys, but you still have a lot more season to go. And for you guys, obviously looking not just for the playoffs because you would guarantee a spot in the playoffs being, in, being that there's only 16 teams in this group and all 16 make the playoffs. But uh, for you guys, you know, looking for a good seeding in the playoffs, this went over... Uh, Time Server will help you guys in that, but obviously, I get looking for some of your future matches, like uh, Mach 10, specifically that last match of the season. A few guys looking for a good seeding. You know, every match matters to you guys, uh, and I'm sure you agree with that. So, kind of, do you guys come in with that mentality that every match matters, even if it's, especially against those top teams, but it's, even if it's against some of these teams that maybe aren't doing so well? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, you know, higher seeding, you know, you play worse teams and it just makes it easier to advance. So, yeah, of course, we're. We're trying our best in every series, even if we're not, you know, at the top of our game, like El Paso series. Again, you guys had a lot to do there, a lot to uh, bring to this match, but a free sweep over Team Cypher Violet. Congratulations on your win, Sanzo. You guys, you know, wanted to uh, join back on the stream not long after your win in ATS Legends Cup 1, so you guys are still kind of riding off that high, and obviously it shows here, so congrats on your win. But before you go, any shout outs, any last things you want to say uh, before we'll end this interview, and for you guys, uh, your match uh, and uh, kind of your matches this week and your action this week will be over. You guys will be able to relax for a little bit. Uh, for shout outs, um, hmm, as you know, Spade and Killer, of course. I think, I think both of them really stepped up today. Out of, you know, from the other weeks, you know, wasn't that we weren't playing as good, but this week we all played really, really well. And then, a uh, shout out Ibonic. Uh, Ibonic has some history with one of their subs. And so it feels good to win for him. And yeah. Again, congratulations on your win, Sanzo. A feel sweep over Team Cyber Violet. Congratulations on your first win of the season. Hopefully, we'll see you guys more as the season progresses. I have a feeling we will. But for now, have a great night. Take care and uh, enjoy, that, enjoy that victory. Enjoy uh, winning today. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night, sporty. You too.
As again, that was Sanzo there of 909, the captain, coming in for a little interview afterwards. But that is it for today. Just two matches here. A Game 5 victory for Red X Collision and a field sweep for 909. So that's it for the action. That's it for all we have for Rocket League today. I promise you, again, I already told you guys earlier, we have matches tomorrow, guaranteed. So we'll definitely, uh, we'll be definitely uh, kind of getting that match set up as soon as we can. But for now, have a great night, everybody. Take care. We'll see you all very soon. But for now, thank you so much for joining the uh, sportiest stream. Take care, be well.